What's up you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Legends Arceus request series. Today we're on request number 67, Clefairy's Moonlit Dance. In order to unlock this request, you must have reached the Scaling Perilous Heights main story mission and you have to have passed the Ancient Quarry portion of that mission and you also need to add Clefairy to your Pokedex which can be a little bit confusing so we're going to do that first. I marked the location of the spring on my map at the beginning of the video. If you missed it, just rewind. I did mark it, I promise. It's at the bottom left of the Coronet Highlands and you have to go there at night and you'll find Clefairy and Cleffa, and you'll also find an Alpha Clefable spawn again. All of these only spawn at night. So make sure that you get Clefairy in your Pokedex before you try to get this request on the blackboard because it simply won't be there until you get Clefairy on your Pokedex. Once you do that, head on back to the Galaxy Hall and look at the blackboard and you should be able to get request 67. After you're able to get the request off of the blackboard, you need to head downstairs to the basement of the Galaxy Hall and you're gonna talk to a stare of the supply core, and he's gonna talk to you about how in his old land, Clefairy would dance in the moonlight. It sounds like a really amazing story, and I'd love to see it myself, which is exactly what we're gonna do throughout the course of this request. Once you get done talking to Astaire, you're gonna wanna head back to the Coronet Highlands, go ahead and rest until nightfall, and then we're gonna do something that's pretty tricky, but I have a really good solution. What we need to do is find a full moon at night. Now, unless you have the peat block item and an Ursa Ring in your party, then there's really no good way to tell if there's a full moon, aside from using the mathematic method that I'm about to describe to you. However, it is worth noting that if you have a peat block and you can put an Ursa Ring in your party, you can tell if it's a full moon because you'll be able to evolve the Ursa Ring using the peat block. Otherwise, you have to go through this laborious method right here. On the screen, I've got the cycle of moons in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So all you have to do is identify where you are in the cycle and then you can mathematically figure out how many times you need to rest until the full moon. So I'm on number 15 or 16, meaning that mathematically I have to rest 10 times in order to get to a full moon. Now this method is foolproof. I think it's the best way to tell if there's a full moon, aside from if you have the peat block and the Ursa Ring in your party, which is obviously the best way, but it can be really difficult to get a peat block if you don't have one. So most people are gonna be stuck having to count out the moons, but you don't have to rest and look at the moon every single time. Once you know the phases of the moon in the game, you can just find it out mathematically, and this really is the best way. You do have to think a little bit about it, but it's way better than spending all of the time looking at the moon and resting and looking at the moon and resting. I tried doing that, it was ridiculous, and I was like, there must be a better way. And then I found this way online, so that's why I'm telling you all of the information that you need to know so you can find that full moon as fast as possible. Okay, once you get the full moon, head back down to the fabled spring and of course you'll have to investigate the little spot where it says to investigate and then it will start this beautiful little animation here with all of the different size clefairies it looks like there's four extra large ones and a small one or maybe it's four normal size and a small one anyway they are adorable this is one of my favorite favorite requests in the whole game i just love how much character they've given to all the pokemon in the land of hisui and it's just a really fun request overall once you get past that whole finding out if it's a full moon or not thing that part is actually really annoying so there you go you guys this is probably the fastest way you could possibly complete this request i cut out all of the extra travel time to make this as quick as possible for you but there is quite a bit of travel time involved especially if you don't already have clefairy in your pokedex now, at the end of the request, it'll show you this little sparkling point, and don't forget to come over here and do this because you do get a free moonstone, and hey, why not? A free moonstone. I think it's one of the only free moonstones you can get in the game, unless you're digging one up using Ursa Luna. So there you go, free moonstone. Once you're done with all of that, you're gonna head back to the basement of the Galaxy Hall, talk to Astaire again, and you will complete this request. So your reward for this request is the moonstone, of course, two medium XP candies, and weirdly five salt cakes. 
There you go, you guys. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you found it useful and informative. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you to all of my amazing subscribers. And peace!